Hello guys, so Lexo told me to make this handle for this wrench again. So and this is how we made this is how I made it. And I am going to use the loft to, to make it just because of the shape of that handle. So what we would do is um the first thing we'll do is create we're going to create three planes because we're going to use the loft to so I'll select the plane and on this plane I want to select the right plane the reference plane will be the right plane and I'm going to offset that plane 0.945 so that will be the first plane I'll click OK and I am going to while that plane is selected I'm going to select reference geometry again plane and this one I'm going to make it point one point four zero two five and we have our second plane and we're going to make the last plane and that plane is offset from plane two as you can see there's plane two in here and you want to offset it 1.4025 as well and click OK so we have the three planes and now if I show this plane we have four planes which including our right plane so I'm just going to start drawing my sketch on them so the first plane I'm going to start with is the right plane I'll click on the right plane and sketch and I'll normal to and I can hide all those planes so it doesn't get confusing so as you can see right now we're just on the right plane and I'm going to draw a circle that is one and I'm going to give it a diameter 1.2 okay I'm going to exit out and I can turn off that right plane then I'll turn on plane one. Yeah, I can you can turn it on, but I'm just showing you what I did. So plane one, I'm going to sketch on that as well. And normal two, and I want to draw another circle. And this the diameter of this will be 0.94. So we have something like that, and now I'm going to exit out of it. I can turn off that plane. Plane 2, I'll show that. You don't have to show it, but sketch. And the sketch for this one, we are going to use an ellipse. And based on what, what type of shape you are trying to achieve, this shape can be anything. Uh, for this part, I'm just using an ellipse for it because I think it looks like an ellipse. Um, so from the top, that will be 1.34 and the side will be 1.2 and my sketch is still not fully defined so what's probably wrong is make sure this point and this origin point are vertical and as you can see my sketch is black now make which means it's fully defined I'll exit out I can hide that plane so that's what I have so far and I'm going to draw my last sketch on plane 3 sketch and I am just going to click on sketch 3 while I'm in the sketch mode on the plane 3 and I'm just going to convert entity so I'm pretty much converting this sketch back there and I'll just exit out so I have my first sketch now the next thing we are going to be lofting this into that into that into that so the next thing we need to do is just draw a guide a guide curve because then that will give give it the shape of how the how the curvature of the part so i can't really think of what to say over there so that will be so we'll start with the front plane and we click sketch so the trick about this thing is you see how this shape will come loft into this and it goes up when you draw your guide curve as at least especially for this part because if I go back to that part this it goes maybe if I zoom in you can say it, it goes all the way and it comes up 
so i'm saying that to say when you make your guide curve i'll just show you so i'll click three points and i'll right click and click select so i use the under the sketch i use the spline to click three points so what i want to do is click on this point hold the control key click on that circle and pierce it and you want to do the same thing for all those points so i click the second point click this circle pierce it click this point click that third circle and pierce it so that is how you want to have your peers you don't what you don't want to do is i don't know for some reason my computer is a little bit glitchy what you don't want to do is pierce as you pierce it into this you don't want to use the same spline to the same a single spline to go all the way around and i'll show you what will happen if you do that because if i use a single spline to go you will see that the shape is going to be different so if i pierce this i click this point and that pierce it click this point and that pierce it and click this point and that and pierce it you see that the shape is different the shape is lower over here and higher over there so that is why you don't do that and depending on how high this is you can just change the diameter of your sketch if it's too high so what you do now is just draw another spline over here and you would pierce and you will pierce this one as well so you have pretty much two different sketch in that two different spline in that sketch and that's exactly what you want so we're going to do the same thing all the way around so i'm going to click on the front plane again and i'm going to select sketch and this time i'm going to do it at the bottom and i'm just going to go a little bit faster now so you're just going to do the same thing pierce click that pierce click that pierce now draw another spline and select and i'm going to pierce it and click that point and pierce so that one is done and this is what we have so far so now i'm going to click on the on the top plane and draw my sketch number two and spline you just click three points right click select i'm just going to pierce it this point and that pierce and pierce that one i'm just going to draw one more over here right click select PSA. so we, ne we need one more so I'm going to select that oh I need to exit out of my sketch excuse me so I didn't exit out of my sketch I need to exit out of this sketch and now go back into the top plane again and do the same thing let me go normal too so we need it on this side right click select and you're just going to click that pierce and make sure nothing is selected when you're piercing it so and i'm just right click unselect everything right click not right click click that point and click this point and pierce and the same thing over here and we are done with that one pierce and and this point and that circle and pierce it so we are now done so what we need to do now is just start lofting our part so what we'll do now is go into the feature and the loft tool and you want to loft this sketch into that sketch into that sketch then you select the guide curve 
and you want to select this guide curve and this guide curve and if you can see you can click on the drop down and just select it but you will need to select it here so you can select it in down here too it doesn't matter so i click that skip line and the last one so i have something like that and i click ok so now what i can do is show that last four guide curve right click to show them so instead of lofting this in one try we are lofting it in two try because you don't want it to be even you want it to have that sharp edge over here so that way we can add the fillet to it so i'm just going to go into the feature again loft to select this and select that loft into that and now select my guide curve and select the other four line that we drew on that edge and we'll click ok so that's as this is exactly what we want and i can just right click to hide all those sketch because we don't need it anymore and the next thing i'm going to do now is use the fillet tool and that should be two so i'm going to make that two and this fillet is um i'm going to add a fillet to this edge this fillet is point should be point zero five so we have something like that so the next thing we need to do is uh, complete the back of this so what we do is the same thing we're going to use the loft to so so let's so the, let's select the front plane so we have something like that and you draw let me just go normal too so I see what I'm doing um, yes we'll select the front plane and click sketch and you want to go normal too so you see what you're doing and just take a circle and click it on that point and click it on that point and just drag it out so you have something like that now click this circle and click that edge and make it tangent to each other so now you have something like that and just draw a line to close that sketch and exit and you want to do the same thing on this face select that face sketch and select that face again convert entity and the line draw a line to close that sketch and use your trim tool and I'm using trim to close this and I'm just going to trim this side off so I only have that side and I would exit out of that sketch and we need one more sketch which would be on our top plane so we we'll select sketch on the top plane I'm on the top plane now I'm going to go normal to and select that point click somewhere over here and just select so now you want to click this point and that arc and you want to pierce that point and normal to again and I want to make this line and that line tangent to each other the edge the line the arc and the edge is tangent to each other so it's fully defined so once you have that you should have something like that then I'm going to go into the feature and um, the love to my guide rail I'm just not going to select it so go to the love to not that face select this sketch select that sketch and again if you can see it you can click on this drop down and select it and I'm going to click this and select that so we have something like that then what I'm going to do now is mirror this over so click on the mirror to select this and select that feature and click OK so we have the we have the shape of that part so that's what the shape looks like 
and if the shape is not sharp enough for you you can just adjust your shape or your sketch to make it go up and down however you want it but this is the size I thought was appropriate for that picture so I'm just making it to that one and so the next thing we need to do now is so the next thing we need to do is start adding um, more details to this part so I'm just going to click on the top plane and go normal to the top plane so I have something like that and I am going to draw draw a sketch on that plane and I'm just going to draw a line that goes um, just somewhere in the middle over here and make that line a construction line and draw another line over here make the line and I'm just making the line coincident with that line collinear with that line because that's just what I did and make pull the line back a little bit and draw another line but make sure this line is angled something like that and I'm just going to draw a circle on this center line and make a tangent to each other that this angle line and that circle tangent and I'm just going to trim this off and add dimensions to it so now I want to add my dimension to it and this angle is 5 this is 35 radius no 0.35 sorry not 35 0.35 and and this is we want to add a dimension from this line to that line and that will be 1.92 so the sketch is fully defined so what I want to do now is just mirror that sketch over so I'm going to mirror entity select those line and about select that line click OK and so I have something like that and what I want to do now is use the split face feature I mean split line and I'm going to select that face so select your sketch in that first and select your face in the second one and click OK so what I did now is I split that face up and down and as we go on you will see why I did that so it will make sense as we move forward so I'm just going to hide that sketch let me hide it so now I want to select the front plane and sketch and just draw an arc here and we click on that one make it tangent and click on this line and make the edge and make it tangent and that arc is 0.12 and I'm just going to do the same thing at the bottom click on this two edge and just click on that arc and that edge make it tangent to it and that arc and this edge and make it tangent and we want to make that point one two and now we are going to exit out of it and we want to use that split line again and we want to select this face those two face and click OK so now and what we did is we add that curve to it so that is done the next thing we need to do is the next thing we need to do is add another split that face so I'm going to click on the um, I can use the top plane and normal to the top plane and select the sketch and now I want to draw a line somewhere over here just draw the line sticking out and select that and just dimension it and make that 0.31 make it 0.3 something like 0.3 and now we're just going to exit that sketch and 
split line again and you want to select that face and cut that so that's what we did there so all this stuff will be you will understand why we are doing this when we get to the end and the next thing we need to do is the next thing we need to do is click on the front plane and draw a sketch and just draw an arc somewhere up here and let the arc be coincident with that edge or something and click that edge convert entity and I'm going to trim it so I have something like that this add my dimension this arc is going to be one so the, di the, the radius of that arc is one so my one is kind of like going a little bit up there so just to show you it is one and from add a dimension from that to this edge is going to be 0 0.03 and from this line to that point is going to be 4.15 so anytime you draw this arc you need to make sure that you fully define your sketch so I have something like that now I'm just going to select extrude cut true all and direction true to true all and I'm going to click OK and now I don't know why my computer is glitchy now the top plane I select the top plane oh my god no don't crash the top plane and I'm going to draw a sketch on the top plane sketch and normal two and I'm just going to select that and just convert no select that face and convert entity so it's something like that and go back to my feature extrude cut and I'm going to select true all and direction to true all so I have something like that so now just cut what I'm going to do is add my fillet and my fillet size will be 0 0.02 for that top and that bottom it's going to be 0 0.02 oh, not that face I don't want to I don't mean to select that face that edge click OK and we're just going to add um, two more fillet this fillet will be point 0.1 and I'm going to add it over there just to make everything smooth click OK and add one more fillet the same size over here and click OK so now we're pretty much almost done we have pretty much the shape done the only thing we need to do now is click on the top plane and just add our text. On the top plane, click your sketch. And we want to start with a draw a line. Just draw a line somewhere over here. Let me zoom in so you see what I'm doing. Make that line a construction line. And now add the dimension to it from here to here is 2. And this line is 1.8 and from here to that line is 1.7 so that's where you have so while you're still in this in the sketch you now click on your your text and I'm just going to type in the top two and I'm going to uncheck this use document to change the font and I'm just going to change the size to 0.35 so I have something like that and I'm going to select that line so that text is aligned to that line and I click OK and I will exit out of that sketch so the, the thing you need to know now is we can actually the right you're supposed to use the wrap tool to select your sketch and if I click on this face to wrap this sketch emboss either emboss or deboss this um, text 
on this face but sometimes when you have a curvature edge solidworks won't let you do that so just in case if that happened this is one trick you can use to emboss anything so let me just start with yeah so this i'll show you the emboss one and i do have tutorial on that and i will leave that in the description but i'll just show you how to solve this problem so i'm just going to exit out of there and i'm going to select this face and i'm just going to go under my surface tab and if you don't see your surface tab right click right click anywhere in here and just make sure that surface is checked i'm going to click this off offset surface and i'll select that face with split and i'm just going to offset it 0 0.025 so it's something like that so what i'm going to do now is on the feature i'm just going to click extrude and i want to extrude this and i'm just going to select the option up to surface i'm going to extrude it to that surface and as you can see the text is carving you don't just want to extrude it up with them because it's going to be uneven but you want to extrude it to that surface so everything is kind of curved around this shape you click ok and now I'm just going to click insert and you want to click features and delete and keep body and we don't want to make sure you don't have anything selected in there you want to delete that surface we just extrude so that is our part and we are pretty much done with it let me um, go into my object thing and just um, change the quality i think that's probably why it is glitching so okay good so now all we need to do now is just add appearance to it so i'm just going to click on my appearance and I have this matte rubber. I'm going to add it to everything. I'm just going to, it's right here, and drag it to everything. My entire part is going to be matte rubber. Then now what I need to do is click on the matte rubber again. And this time I want to add it to this. Hmm. How did I? add it to this face because I need two appearance let me see if I have it okay so I have the matte rubber too that I just add to this face so what I'm going to do is edit that appearance the second one so what I'm going to do is right click and edit that second appearance and I'm going to change that appearance to green and now I can just select all the surface that I want to change to green so I pretty much want to select all this surface. I'm going to flip it upside down. I think I have everything over here. I want to select this surface too. In there, in there. And I think that is it for that one. I want to select that, that edge. And that edge. And I want to select this edge that edge and I also want to select this face this face and that face and I believe that's everything and I'm just going to click OK and that is how I made that and the, the last thing you can do is you can cut your you can cut your hole in there so I'm just going to draw a sketch there and draw a circle make it 0.5 and feature extrude cut 0.5 and okay and that is how I did that shape oh I need to add one more so I can right click copy appearance right click and paste the appearance on that face so that is how I did this part and and this image is not that much clear but if you look at it we pr pretty much try to capture everything that is on this part and that is pretty much how I 
put my own remix to it and like i said if you feel like this edge and the back needs to be higher or this part needs to be lower all you need to do is just update your sketch in your loft anyway thank you and i'm sorry this took forever to do it's kind of anytime you work on the loft it takes a little bit longer anyway thank you and if you have any question on how on anything on this tutorial please feel free to let me know thank you and see you next time bye